So here we have some dogs in the crate. Two things I'm gonna cover real quick. No, I'm playing. They're gonna be real quick. For one, like, subscribe, share. This Tifa here with Fibbly TV. Somebody says, "Hey, how long should my dog be in the crate?" My man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Some people are asking, maybe because they want to start a conversation. But in retrospect, the dogs sleep on average. The average dog sleeps will be anywhere from like 10 to 12 hours a day. So half the day, if not more, the average dog is <laughs> zonked. The dog needs to get exercise, it needs to get out and stretch his leg, it needs to get trained. So our dogs are on an extensive schedule. We built a playground on the side of the house for the pups. They're about to go out there and play. When they come back in, they go back in the crate. Are there times where I let them roam around, run around and have a good time? Absolutely. Are there walks? Are there training times? Absolutely. They're just babies though, so you just want them to grow up, have a good time. But how long should the dog be in the crate? I don't know. But definitely not all day and definitely not all night. The dog should not be in their day and night, but they need to have a room in your home so that you can have some peace. You want to get them into a rhythm, a.k.a. a rhythm, so that they can know, you can learn how they're communicating with the communicating. Last night, Bam Bam cried, we'll say three or four times, and every time I let him out, he went to pee. He went to pee, and that's poop. It's all his. Cha-Cha didn't start whining until about 4 this morning. She gets really fussy, so I just put her outside so she can have her own time. She likes her her time, but then now, look, now she's back here after she's been out for the, for the morning, and she's asleep. <laughs> so she goes out, shakes her legs, does whatever she wants to do, comes back in. Then eventually, it's raining the day, and we take them out in the rain, to be clear. Matter of fact, they got to go out in the rain, which is why they're going to go out now, here in a second. We put them out there, let them do their thing, and then we take them on a walk. It give me about half a mile to a mile, 0.4 miles at this stage, and upwards of a mile and some change. If I feel like they've, you know, they, they can keep going. We bought the treadmill. We're going to get them working on the treadmill regularly here in the near future. But for right now, crate training, in my opinion, in my experience, is key. For one, gives a dog time it needs away from you, believe it or not. Dogs are very tentative to our needs. And what happens is they start following us around, checking on us all the time. So that in itself, just imagine you doing that. It's stressful. So you put them in the crate, they get, oh, they get to relax. Sometimes I cover the crate out so they can relax even more. And that's if they're like being real fussy. So they need their own personal time. You need your own personal time. You don't want to dog up your butt. <laughs> Especially if you getting some butt. <laughs> so, so had that dog. And you, the other thing you don't want to do is, is have uh, create separation anxiety. So early on, if the dog does not know that it is, it's got to, you know, like y'all both need personal time. Now, when you're not around and you're not with the dog, what is it doing? It's tearing up your house. It's destroying the walls. Hell, it's breaking the cage and messing the cage up, trying to get out to get to you. Because again, they're what? Tentative creatures. So they want to tend to your needs. And if they get obsessed with being what you need, per se, then you've got a problem on your hand. So the crate is critical for restroom, for training, for exercise and then getting back for in our case we feed them there too guy says hey i've got some aggressive dogs i put the pail down and he literally sent me a picture i put the pail down and the dogs they get aggressive when it's time for them both they said well how far apart are they eating about three to five feet i said that's not that much man and then you know people don't understand i said was well, it aggressive towards you no just fine so imagine sitting there eating i'll probably do a video while i'm sitting down and have jamarcus and just stand on while i'm eating don't nobody want nobody <sighs> breathing in their food and chewing on it. Like, you know you would like that. So quick and tight when the dog don't want the other dogs near their food. Like, I don't want nobody digging their fork and hands in my food. Even if we was eating foo food, I wouldn't want none of that. And you know the Africans ate everything with the hand and slob. I'm like, bro, this ain't no community play. <laughs> That's how I feel. So, great training. Build, it builds you guys' bond, believe it or not. It builds that line of communication for you and the dog. Bam Bam just fussy because he wants to get out. Well, guess what? He gonna go out. All right. He gonna go out and have to deal with this weather and and manage himself for a little bit because we're not about to create that 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 separation problem. Like I'm not doing it. I'm not doing. It. You don't get to come out when you want to. You want to come out? Bet you going even further away from me. Outside in the rain, in the wet, in the cold, and it's not that cold. He's a dog at the end of the day, and he's a dog who's very well kept. But I'm not gonna deal with his fussy behavior. And a lot of y'all are dealing with problems because you're creating them. Oh wow, he uh, no. I got 10 years with this dog, if not longer, if everything goes right. So I need to make sure for the next 10 years, which is a long time, I can manage him and manage my own peace. And the first year is critical in my experience and in my opinion. So as always, like, subscribe, share, take care of your dogs. 
I'm going to try to keep asking questions. Every dog's different. Every dog's got a different rhythm to, and to, to the way in which they want to do things. And uh, you got to get them all on the same schedule. That's been my experience. Eagle and Tron out there in their cage right now, chilling. I'll let them back here in here at some point. They slept in here last night. Someone says, well, do they stay up all night or stay in the crate? The big dogs, because they play. If I know that I want them to be more antsy, more amped up, instead of letting them sleep in the room the night before, I'm like, okay, they go sleep in their crate tonight. Take them out, get them 30 minutes in the morning so they can shake their legs, get some sun. And then if I know like we're going to play rough, I want, them, I want them revved up. I want them revved up so they'll be in that crate from night. Uh, they go out, use the bathroom at night, use the bathroom, they eat, such and such. And then for almost an hour and a half, two, we go and play rough. They pull, drag bags up hills, water, rain, all kinds of crazy stuff, right? So it really just depends. But for the most part, throughout most days, I'll let them in here after they use the bathroom in the morning. Or they'll just be in here and they'll come back in here. They'll be in here the rest of the day. And then closer to the evening, I'll put them back in the crate so they can relax, get ready to eat their dinner. And then kind of go from there. So stay tuned. Take care of your dogs, people. I'll try to answer more questions, do some more videos. But the crate is not the enemy. It's an opportunity for you guys to learn from your dog, with your dog, and be better because of your dog, people. As always, take care of your dogs and good luck.